All right, you guys said he didn't mind seeing me on the treadmill. This is literally how I start my day. Get a few things picked up around the kitchen, bring laundry down, hangers down, start a load, that kind of stuff. This is quite literally what I do. And I wasn't gonna turn it on now. I can, it's 11 o'clock, I've been doing this now for two hours. I wish I was further on in the process of this video that I'm editing, but it's taken a long time. But ironically, that video is me opening up about this journey that I'm on. So I also have this one home again. We're just gonna nip this little cold in the bud. You're probably no it. stuffy nose, no runny nose anymore, correct? Yeah. A little stuffy now, right? I think it just, yeah. Did you take a cold medicine this morning? No. Okay, let's do that. But I wanna show you what she just made. If you saw the end of yesterday's video, this is what I made at my little cupcake wars party. Um, showed you kind of some of the other ones. The other ladies made. We did a theme, and I didn't really explain this in the video. We did a theme of Halloween or fall everywhere. I did, well, I'll show you mine in a second. The other ideas we had, some of the cupcake liners went up really high. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, he, where? Oh no. So, um, sorry, I'm still out of breath. One of the, the cupcake liners went up high, so we thought that would be a popcorn, um, you know, bag. And so we made that cupcake popcorn and then I got the idea, like we had to have a theme to kind of base all of our cupcakes on. And I thought, well, fall everywhere. And that's like at a carnival, right? Like for us, it's salmon days. That's always in the fall. And there's popcorn and there's carnival tents. And so one of the cupcakes was a carnival tent from the top, the red and white stripes. And we put a bear on top of it. And then what other things did we do? Oh, you did. Oh, we did a football, because fall is football. And then you did and like then a pumpkin patch. A, no, someone else did a pumpkin patch. They lined all these cupcakes up and they made a little pumpkin patch, a little scarecrow and other things. But because it was fall everywhere and because last year Jason and I enjoyed fall in Hawaii, <laughs> that was really fun. Check out that uh, playlist. I did fall in Hawaii and she's not putting them on now, but I had these little pumpkins on the cupcake as well. And then, wait, where's your towels? I didn't you need to make the, the towels, bag. Ash. I didn't get the stuff in the bag. Oh yeah, the, where is the bag? I, I, oh, the candy? Is no, it not it in all, there? All, oh, I hid the candy. Yeah. I hid it from everyone last night. Took a little piece of candy, I'll find it. And then you make a little towel and put it on the sand. But aren't these really cute? Uh, we also had, oh yeah, the pumpkin and the towel were it's what were, was on them. Oh yeah. So here's the one I did last night. And uh, there's the little towel and a little pumpkin water and sand and a little umbrella. Isn't this so cute? Anyway, so that was kind of a fun night. She's wanted to do this because she like doesn't feel sick enough to like go to sleep and take naps and like be kind of out cold. She just feels sick enough to be miserable in class. What is this, Ash? Oh, it's just in the sand. And like yesterday, you were so sad, weren't you? She got to the point where she just could, could not stay any longer, but it was right before art. Art and... And then your teacher said she had something really fun at the end of the day. And that was like when she was feeling the cruddiest. That's when she came home early yesterday. And I just, they're gonna get so frustrated with me keeping just sending, you know, sending her back knowing she's sick. And so I was like, whatever, just stay home today. We'll get you all better so she can go to school Friday. And, and like in the mornings, I feel like perfectly fine. So I'm like, right, I that's why we go, send you. Like I can go and then like when, right when I get to school, I'm like, it Just gets like, cruddy. Yeah. So, anyway, we're gonna kind of nip it in the bud tonight. Or, you know, go to bed on time. Let me get you another pill left. Um, so, I really had only plans to do working out and editing today, and that's really all I need to do, except <laughs> I've been holding out on Costco. I was kind of thinking maybe I could get a whole extra week out of our last trip to Costco. And we did. But this is all the milk I have. We did. And this is literally a determining factor. Yeah, it's almost Friday, but normally I go on Mondays. So, I and we're, I don't know why they put these back in. These cucumbers are bad. This is what I was getting frustrated about. Uh, I, I was buying too many vegetables thinking I was out, and then I'd come home and I'd have three cucumbers, and we weren't going through them fast enough because I had too many. Here's another example peppers. This is the second bag. 
This is the bag I bought last week, and so now I have too many. And we still have some cucumbers here that probably are bad. There's an onion I just need to use. It's not bad. But so I have been telling the kids, eat what is in here. Like, I know it's not your regular. I know Abby doesn't have her peaches. But I'm like, you need to eat these cuties. There's nothing wrong with them. Finish them. Finish the bread. Finish the mac and cheese that I bought. Finish the eggs. Look, we still have eggs. This is the bun I got last week. It hasn't even been touched. So this is why I haven't gone. But we're out of peanut butter. We're out of, we're not out of jelly. So we're fine on that. But there's just enough now that I, like I have to get milk and it is the better place to get milk. Probably need, see, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do an inventory before I go to Costco and actually find out what I need to get. I'm gonna wipe this out too. There's, I'm gonna put that up there so I can wipe this all down. Okay, so she's gonna clean up your mess, right boo? Put the cupcakes over on the other side of the kitchen and put all this stuff away. And then I need you to wipe off the counter because you made a mess on it. I don't want to get that frosting and stuff on this floor. And then I'm going to vacuum. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to get back on this. I am at, just this is my own. You guys are my motivation. Having to check in with you guys is helping me be motivated. I'm at 6,600 steps. I don't think I'm going to get to 10,000 before I go to Costco, which is why I'm not going to change. I'm going to put a t-shirt on that's not wet and sweaty. <laughs> I'm going to go to Costco and I'm going to come back and I'm going to get on it. Normally I don't do that. I don't like to wear... Anyway, it's kind of a thing. But I'm not going to shower when I go out. I'm just going to go get the groceries and come back and then we'll get back on the trip now. Okay, I'm sitting in the car making my list. And this girl is over here doing a Dutch braid, doing a Dutch braid on herself. She literally just learned last night, and she just learned how to do it on herself. She was struggling to get it on my hair. She did it once. Because I was doing it wrong. I know. It's a backwards feeling. Let me see. You turn your head. It's not that good, but... Jeez. <laughs> you should be a hairstylist when you grow up. It's like Chelsea. She's good at art. <laughs> well, you can be good at art, too. Everyone doesn't have to have their own thing. Yeah, Chelsea came up to me, and she was like, here, let me do a braid. She came up and did put a brush like right here and I try oh. braiding it. It's so mean. You guys, what is this madness? We just sat in traffic and then got to Costco. Literally no one is here. Look, the whole parking lot. Like what in Normal the world? Up, like, Normally so it's like much. so backed up. There's no one in line. I literally can just like, I'm the next person in line. <laughs> and I could have, so I could pick any one of these. Oh, and also, she's not sitting in the front all the time. She just moved up here as soon as I parked. Yeah. But you got the, the braid done on the other side now. Yeah. Yeah, it's super cute. You can have it in until cheer. Can't have it in for cheer tonight. You're allowed to have other ones, but they have to be, they have to be in, in the back. Yeah. Yeah. So I can go like this. And you really need to cheer practice tonight for your game on Friday. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Tell them how excited Abby is. She's really excited. She's really excited for you. She's excited to see you and she's like, I'm gonna be cheering you on the whole game. It's gonna be so cute. Let's see if she can carry the milk. Got it, you got it? Got two things of milk. And then we got some peaches, peanut butter, then the veggie pouches for Ashley. We chose pirate booty instead of chips today. And then now that it's Christmas time at Costco. I stocked up on these guys. I have a chapstick ball like this in my purse, in my desk, in my bedside table. Like I even want one in my car, but they are normally $4 a piece. But when you buy them at Costco, how much are they, Ash? Normally it would be $28 for all of these, right? How much were they? Do you remember? $30. It was half the price of 28. What's half of 28? Half of 28. <laughs> Make her do math on her day off. 14. 14. So we saved half by stocking up on them now. And also dad can't buy them for Christmas for me and individually wrap them like he's done in the past. Correct? He's done that. And he's wrapped a whole case of Coke before. So he we got... Wraps, he wrapped your ring and it didn't even fit. <laughs> I know. Um, and then we got blueberries, lettuce, bananas, melatonin was on rebate and we literally ran out last night. 
So I got two of those and then some green beans and I think that's it. Little, literally like basic. Okay, but, but um, when we went into Costco, I had 1500 steps to do. Oh, Ashley, we need 200 steps in order to get to 10,000. But luckily I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna keep walking. And you should maybe do like I ready or something. Like do some kind of a little school work. You don't have any homework, do you? No. Did you, did the class like, did you bring home the me yeah. stuff? No. Is it still at school? Yeah, and I wasn't able to do it. Oh, cause you left? Yeah. Oh. But are they doing it like every day? Yeah. If someone has something, then they do it? Yeah. Okay, well hopefully tomorrow you can. Sorry for all the beeps in my car. It has that sensor out, so. All right, let's go home. It didn't update. I did hit my 10,000 at Costco. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, back to walking. Even though I've hit my 10,000, I still have editing to do. And uh, it's an easy part of my editing that I can definitely walk in and do it at the same time. But like seconds after I got home and got the stuff, actually I still need to go um, and unload the, the Costco stuff. It's on the counter, I actually brought it in. But as soon as I got home, um, my oldest, Kaylee, sent me this message. Um, and for those that might be new, um, I have a lot of you that are new here, um, a, about a year and a few months ago, my mom passed away suddenly. It all happened in one 12 hour day. Um, literally got sick, 8 a.m., was gone by 8 p.m. So it was very sudden and very hard. And anyway, Kaylee sends me a message and she said, I wrote this story about grandma a while ago, but I don't remember showing it to you. I said, I'd love to read it. And it's called the Rose Gold Nail Polish, which got me right off the bat. And I have permission to share this. I'm gonna share it with my family too. June 5th at 1240 PM. It seemed like a never ending, and it takes me back, sorry. It seemed like a never ending whirlpool of emotions. 20 beautiful pink and white flowers are gently placed on the casket by each of the crying grandkids as they walk past it to say goodbye. Every one of them held a special memory we had throughout the years. My hand reached out in front of me to hold the very thing I wished, wished for it was not in my hand, but around my neck, but around his neck. At that moment, all I could think about was how in just two more days he would have met her. She's talking about her boyfriend. <laughs> Preface. My mom was scheduled to come to Seattle with my dad and three grandkids for a grandkid trip. She passed away too soon. <sighs> the turtle shaped necklace dangling from my fingers as I held back the tears which were eating me alive. The sun was boiling us, but we did not care because the calming breeze made us feel like she was still with us. She was there making sure we were okay even with her gone. The sun was still full that day. <laughs> beaming down on us with 90 degree rays. You could not tell if it was sweat or tears running down our face. But all that mattered at that moment was saying our final goodbyes. When I looked at the casket, I remembered the times when I'd walk into her front door that was always unlocked. I would see her painting her nails with her favorite rose gold nail polish. I remember when your grandma was younger, she would always love writing letters back and forth, said my grandpa standing next to her, as he was telling all of his amazing moments with his wife, and about his wife, and his eight kids. I love you, grandma. I would do anything to get you back, but just know everyone misses you. We will keep creating family memories like you loved. just 
caught me off guard today. Kaylee knew mom the most. She's the oldest. She had more grandkid days. She had granddaughter days. She had more chances for grandma to come to Seattle to visit. She had more chances to sit in her lap. My mom was a teacher way back when and then started working as a reading aide at an elementary school a few years ago and so she would bring her note cards home during the summer and she would sit with the grandkids in her lap that were just learning to read and she would go through her note cards with the kids and just make sure that they had extra summer reading time with her. I miss my mom. My sister and I often talk. My sister is having a hard time and she Marco Poe me the other day and she's I just she's like I Marco I'm sending you a Marco Polo because because I can, because you're here, because mom's not. I'm not a replacement for my mom. I'm not the one that should be giving my sister advice. I'm not the one that, I'm, I'm more than willing to be the one to help her and support her and listen to her, but it's just hard when we both know that it should be mom. It should be my mom. And she's here listening to us in our own ways, I guess. I guess she's just listening to our conversations with each other. Maybe that's what this is all for, is for us siblings to become closer and, and rely on each other more than we did before. We'd always call mom. Like, I guarantee you, any given day, my mom, if you tried to call her, <laughs> um, when she learned how to text at the same time she was being on a call, <laughs> that was beautiful, because she would, I'm on the phone with your sister, I'll call you right back. You know, but almost guaranteed she was either on a call or you'd hear the landline <laughs> ring and it was someone else calling because there was eight of us and six of us are married and so even my sister-in-laws and brother-in-laws would call her and ask her questions. <laughs> oh, that was just an emotional thing I wasn't ready for today. It's a little reminder that... Uh, my kids hold those emotions very close to their heart about their grandma and I think it was the hardest on Kaylee at the time uh, that it happened because she was very excited to introduce her grandma to her boyfriend. He was very nervous to do it but I know that she would have loved him. <laughs> she would have loved how he treats her. She would have quickly seen it how he makes her happy and I know that at the time she was only 16 and she's only 17 now but um, I know that that meant a lot to her to let her grandma see that this wasn't just like a little thing that she was going through that he was something special to her and I think she wanted to show my mom that part of her life that mom hadn't been able to like see because she doesn't live here and we don't live close enough. I need to remind my kids that they need to share those emotions and those worries and those those thoughts about their grandma or anything else. But say your love yous, give the hugs, take the time. If you have grudges, if you have hard feelings, if you have things that you feel like you shouldn't let go of, do it because you don't know when you're not going to be able to. So. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.